Gout is a form of arthritis causing pain and swelling in the joints in people who have too much uric acid in the blood. Uric acid is a chemical that is produced when the body breaks down certain foods. At first, it tends to affect only one joint, most frequently the big toe. Gout flares, also called gout attacks, are sudden episodes of severe joint pain usually involving redness, swelling, and tenderness of the joint. Although a gout flare typically affects a single joint, some people develop several inflamed joints at the same time. Gout flares start more often during the night and in the early morning hours than during the day, but they can occur at any time. Gout risk factors include obesity, high blood pressure, chronic kidney disease, overeating or prolonged fasting, consuming excessive amounts of alcohol, particularly beer, whiskey, gin, vodka, or rum on a regular basis, consuming large amounts of meat or seafood, consuming beverages containing high fructose corn syrup such as non-diet sodas, and taking medications that affect blood levels of urate, especially diuretics. Is there a test for gout? Yes. To test you for gout, your doctor or nurse can take a sample of fluid from the joint that is in pain. If he or she finds typical gout crystals in the fluid, then you have gout. Even without checking fluid from a joint, the doctor or nurse might still strongly suspect gout if you have had pain and swelling in one joint, especially the joint at the base of the big toe, your symptoms completely go away between flares, at least when you first start having them, or your blood tests show high levels of uric acid. There are a few medicines that can reduce the pain and swelling caused by gout. Deciding which medication to use is based upon several factors including your risk of bleeding, kidney health, heart disease, allergies, and whether you have a past history of an ulcer in the stomach or intestine. The medicines used to treat gut flares include NSAIDs. This is a large group of medicines that include ibuprofen and indomethacin. NSAIDs might not be safe for people with kidney or liver disease, heart disease, or for people who have bleeding problems. Colchicine is a medicine which helps gout, but it can also cause diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and stomach pain. It is used with caution in kidney and liver disease. Steroids can induce swelling and pain. Steroids can be taken as pills or as shots into the joints. There are medicines that can reduce the chances of having future gout flares. Examples of these medicines include allopurinol, febroxostat, and probenicid. People with severe gout can also get peglotikase, which is given through a vein. Your doctor will check your uric acid levels regularly. This is to make sure that medicines are working and you are taking the right dose. Can I do anything to prevent gut flares? Yes. In general, a healthy diet includes plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy products. How can you care for yourself at home? If the joint is swollen, put ice or a cold pack on the area for 10 to 20 minutes at a time. Put a thin cloth between the ice and your skin. Try to keep it above the level of the heart. Avoid activities that put weight or strain on the sore joints for a few days. Eat less seafood and red meat. Avoid alcoholic beverages. It's also important to drink plenty of water. Losing weight if you are overweight can help reduce gout attacks. But do not go on a crash diet. See your doctor if you are feeling worse or if you are not feeling better after 2 or 3 days. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please click the like button, hit subscribe and ring the bell. Be healthier.